Hi everyone, welcome back on this bright sunny 60 degree day up here in northern New York. Uh, it's April 18th and I'm going to start putting some of my cold spring crops in the ground. So I'm going to start with peas and carrots. I looked it up on the Farmer's Almanac uh, spring planting website. You just kind of put in your zip code and then it'll give you dates that you can start planting stuff outside and when you can do transplants or anything like that. So, and the wind is crazy. But again, I live in the middle of a wind farm, so I'm not surprised. I'm going to give you a little update on the winter sowing that we did. So I have all these jars out here strapped to the fence so they don't blow away. I haven't seen much action in that one. But this one... Well, we can get to focus in there. There's some green stuff, so starting to see some sprouts. And I'd say it's probably that way in probably about half of the containers. Some bigger sprouts in this one. So off to a good start. We'll see how they continue to grow. So this is my garden, or the state of the garden. I have kind of in row in ground rows in row in ground rows uh, there's 14 rows and then there's one big long bed at the end um, I don't do any tilling we tilled it up the first year the whole garden then I laid cardboard and dirt down in the paths and then I just don't walk where I plant so that I'm not compacting any of the soil and it stays pretty lofty normally I do flowers here here here. This trellis is usually tomatoes. Last year this trellis was cherry tomatoes. I have another row here. This trellis is usually peas. And then I've got a bunch of beds all the way down to the big bed down here. And this one I usually do squash. I do cucumbers on the trellis. Then Big kale in the middle last year, but this year I think I'm going to try ca carrots because they should stay shaded by the cucumbers. I'm going to start with putting my peas in the ground. Peas are a cold season crop, so they do pretty good with uh, starting them out early. Got my peas from Johnny's, and they are super sugar snaps. Um, reason I did these is I wanted something that I could shell. Because as much as I like to eat the whole pea pod and all, I really do like them shelled. Johnny's is really good and includes a bunch of information on the back. Uh, what we're gonna do, pretty much usually what you do with any plant, you're gonna put it in the ground about twice as deep as the seed is kind of tall or big. So. This is one of the pea seeds. I'd say it's like a quarter of an inch, so we're going to put it about a half inch in the ground. I usually go down and make a little row and then plant my peas. Um, I think they say to space them. What do they say? Do, 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 do. They say an inch to inch and a half apart. I probably will do somewhere around there. Um, I'm only going to plant them on one side of the trellis instead of doing two rows because every year the wind blows one of the rows over. So if I plant on the prevailing wind side of the trellis, it should blow them into the trellis. That's my plan. We're going to see how it works. So I'm going to start with some carrots. I have some little fingers, some mixed colors, some Denver, and some gold nuggets. The wind. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. I don't think the wind's ever going away though. I have my garden helpers too. There goes Ruger and Axel. They're always sad they can't come in, but 
They're not good at watching where they walk. Alright, so the carrots are gonna go carrots are gonna go here underneath this cattle panel arch. Um, hopefully they take off. Carrots are one of the hardest things to grow just because they need to have pretty much constant moisture to take off and they take like three weeks to germinate. So I'm hoping putting them in the spring in the cooler weather they'll do a little better. Last year I had cal under here so I have a couple of cal root balls that I need to pull out. The other thing that I'm going to plant, I think I'm going to plant some kale and some spinach here. Normally I have like zucchini and summer squash on the outside of the trellis, on the hills outside of the trellis, but I think if I plant um, like a little section in between I might be able to get away with it. I really don't need more than a plant of summer squash and a plant of zucchini, but I always put like four in for some reason because gardeners don't know when to stop. So I'll get this bed worked up and then get the carrots in. side of the trellis and normally you can kind of see I have three hills where I normally have zucchini. I think I'm going to take this section here, leave some room for my cucumbers, but this section here and put in spinach and I might tuck a kale plant all the way along the fence over there. Um, there is cardboard down so I'm not sure if I'll dig down there or maybe I'll put some kale on the other side, but let's do that. of spinach. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Last year I planted everything more in like May time frame and I dealt with flea beetles so bad. I, they ate everything. No matter what I did I could not get ahead of them. So I'm hoping planting earlier I can get ahead of them. As long as they get like their first set of true leaves the flea beetles can't annihilate the plant to the point where it stops growing. Um, Last year, just anything I planted from seed, anything. It was it was terrible. I was having to come out here like three times a day and put down diatomaceous earth, and it still was not really doing me any good. Um, so I'm hoping everything can get ahead of them. But 
kale, spinach, a whole bunch of carrots in here, hoping for a much better carrot harvest this year. Um, have to clean up that pile of roots. I know you can barely tell it on the camera, but the garden could really use to be weeded. If you get ahead of the small weeds, weeds don't become a problem. So I try to pick everything when it's at this tiny, almost invisible stage. Plus, they're really easy to pull then. Peas are in the ground here. And then last night I did come out and in between those two rocks planted eight cloves of garlic. Now, it's really late to plant garlic, but I planted it this late last year and still was able to get away with having garlic. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Usually you plant that in the fall around here. Although I did find a little surprise. Apparently last year when I pulled my garlic, I didn't do a very good job because there's another clove, but it's growing, so we will let that one grow and see what it becomes. So, as for today, that's everything I'm going to do in the garden. Uh, maybe another day when it's sunny and 60, I'll come out and pull some of the weeds. I'll keep us updated on the winter sowing, but thanks for coming along and joining us. Um, now time to go do house chores and take care of little girls.